Um, we're going to play a game. We're going to name a position group on the Bills right now. Yeah. And it's like the FMK game. Okay. But it's free agency, trade, or draft. So I'm going to say position group. You let me know how you'd like to acquire that position. Okay. So let's let's take, let's take just pull back real quick, right? Yeah. yeah. So when we talk about draft, uh, I am going I, – I think we talk about, like, what we know of the Bills in the draft history. Not specific prospects. A little early. No, no. It's very A little early, early for yeah. that. It's a little we, early even for free agency because there's going to be guys – who are going to be cut like the Saints are going to basically be the entire free agency class for everybody because they're just going to have to cut everyone. So, and so they may draft 17 players. No, um, like if I, if I say like defensive tackle or mm-hmm. something like that or defensive line, you say draft because this draft has a bunch of them or right. not any specific mm-hmm. player. Would yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm good with I that. Like yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right. Uh, I am going to go with. Oh, we're not going to flip a coin? No, we can. I'll flip you. Heads or tails? Yes. Heads or tails? I am going to go with uh, QB1 and pick tails. I like the way you think. (laughs) All right, let's go. It is heads. Oh, God. Let's change the rules. (laughs) We both get a possession. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. <laughs> How the f- did you come up with that so quick? Do you have Ryan Wendell's driver's license? It's Charlie Whitehurst. Look at that. Look at that Sasquatch. <laughs> this was after I did a stint in juvie. <laughs> I'll go first, and I'll start with uh, I'll start with an easy one. I think this is an easy one. Mm-hmm. Cornerback. Corner. Corner. Free agency. Okay, but why free agency? I um, <clears throat> that's not what I wanted to say. Uh, just to kind of stir the pot a little bit, I think there's going to be some free agents. The Bills have usually brought in a veteran guy in a position. And then we you even mentioned it last year, is Levi Wallace that veteran guy? Well, right. he is now a free agent. Mm-hmm. So if, if they sign him, it's a push for me. Right. <laughs> so he's a free agent. <laughs> All right. That's fair. But, I mean, I would not be mad at 25 mm-hmm. if they took another corner. You know, I think what's kind of different this year is oftentimes when they have those free agents, when they have those free agents, um, there's a connection back to the coaching staff somewhere, right? Yeah. So I think it is possible. Great. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Um, I think it is possible that uh, we see a connection to Joe Brady, right? Ooh. Because it's not the connection you'd think, right? Because he's coming in as quarterback coach. But the reality is, right, he had experience with that defense every single day for the last couple of years. He did. So if there's a hidden gem on that defense, he's going to know who it is. You know what I find interesting about a hidden gem? Maybe we could talk about this in a different episode. Giants cap uh, situation is not that good. Right. No. People want to talk about the cap being real, cap being fake. The cap is a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. Um, it's just about balancing books at this point. Brad Bear. Yeah. He's eating up a chunk of their, their cap. Sure is. And I don't know if we want to go down that road. I don't know. Well, and you have to you have to weigh the risk factors there if you're the Giants, right? Are you going to cut him or are you going to try and trade him? You're mm-hmm. going to hold on to him as long as you can because he's a very talented player. Mm-hmm. But the Giants aren't close to winning any, anything anytime soon. No, and with the fifth and seventh picks, that's what I mean. you could build your right. roster pretty, pretty right. fast. Do you really need to spend that money there? No. You know? Um, but then we talked about this too, and this is something you mentioned. And you may mention on the Rock Power Report as well. Premium positions: mm-hmm. defensive end, corner, and left tackle, quarterback. Yep. yep. Those are always the ones that get the like you spend top dollar for. Mm-hmm. And if you're able to draft a plug and play guy immediately, you're saving yourself so much cap to use in other places. Right. Not only that, but 
over the next four years. Yeah. Right. It's it's a, it's a long term investment. So. So let's make the Pro Bowl. I think corner is a trade scenario for me. Ooh. Because really? well, Bradbury is a great point, right? Because yeah. it's a guy that that McDermott's already familiar with, right? Is the number a little high? It sure is. But you got that relationship there now. Now that Gettleman's gone. You've got a relationship in New York you could actually use. I love how he leaves and not have a relationship. That's right. He's a piece of work. Well, didn't he, didn't he take Jake Fromm? Didn't he take Calvin Benjamin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure did. Sure did. Do we really know who drafted for the Carolina Panthers? For the <laughs> yeah, it thing? makes sense now, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I think Buffalo is in the trade market for a corner um, because yeah. – at well, and they've drafted their reinforcements. They've put a lot of draft capital in there. We know Buffalo, right? They're going to bring in that veteran at some point. They're going to bring in another guy who can play right away. And, you, you know, if Bradbury's price can come down a little bit after post-trade, I haven't looked at it yet, but it makes sense to me. All right, my turn. I'm just going to put it out there. Linebacker. Mm. Okay. Do you think that they acquire one in free agency? Do you think that they get one through the draft? Or do you think they trade for one? So, uh, all right. So, I have a theory. And my theory is that you've got uh, all your linebackers are returning stuff, right? You're not losing anybody. Uh-oh. No, you're not losing a single no, linebacker. No starters. No starters. No start. You're not losing a single starter linebacker, oh. right? <laughs> but they're all coming up to the edge of their contracts. All of them. Milano signed a three-year. Yeah. What, Milano signed, signed a three-year? Four year. He signed a four-year? He's got three left, yeah. Okay. He's four for 44, man. Right, but... Uh, it was an Arby's deal. It was, a, it was an Arby's deal. Okay. okay. So, um, even with that, even, even considering that, uh, you still have to just make the determination on Edmonds, yes. long-term or short-term, right? And that uh, and that A.J. Klein linebacker position kind of is uh, scheme-based, right? It's going to whatever your opponent is, that's when A.J. Klein starts seeing some some role. Yeah, due and, to the amount of the Bills playing nickel quite right. a bit. Right. So, okay. so that to me is a draft position, right? It's not really free agency because it's not a it's not somebody that you're going to keep around for – you don't you don't have to hit that pick, right? You still <laughs> yeah. have A.J. Klein. You don't have to hit the pick. But I think at some point they start drafting backers again, right? They, yeah. They've gotten away from it. Um, and I think they, they, you have to reinvest again because they've gone playing the free agent game. And I think when they lost Milano and they lost Edmonds at the same time, they were like, okay, wait a minute. I am not okay with this situation that we put ourselves in. And I think it, they're going to they're gonna end up drafting something. I don't think it's going to be a high pick, but I think they'll probably throw a, a fourth rounder on the linebacker and wait. I want to disagree. Okay. And the reason is this. <clears throat> I haven't picked a free agent for trade yet. Right, here's my deal. I think it's going to be free agent. Okay. Because you think about the linebacking core that they've acquired. Mm-hmm. Milano wasn't their draft. No. That wasn't her, their it, scouting it department. It wasn't their scouting department. That's right. Edmonds is a freak of nature, but that was a, a linebacker-loaded draft. You yeah. had you had Vander Esch. You had a bunch of other guys in there as well. Is that the Cl- white draft? What? Was that the white draft? No, no. That was the Allen draft. Okay. Um, no, 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 I didn't mean, I meant, I meant white for Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, it was. Devin Bush. Yeah. You got a lot of linebackers back there. Um, so you drafted Edmonds in the first round. Milano wasn't even your guy that you scouted. And Klein was a guy that you had previously on it. Right. So their ability to scout linebackers outside of the first round, I'm, I don't trust. Well. Corners, I trust. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. Corners I trust. Like, we talked about Whaley. Do not put him near quarterbacks. But if you need a linebacker in the fourth round that needs to start for you, yeah, Whaley I'll did. talk to Whaley. Whaley, you know Whaley I mean? ought to sniff those out. He did. So, the thing with McDermott, I, and Bean, I trust corners late rounds. Mm-hmm. What was what was Johnson? Fourth rounder? Teron Johnson? Jughead. Jughead? He was like fourth or fifth round or something like that? From, like, a no-name college. Unless they take one in the first two rounds, linebacker, they're going free agency. I don't. I think they'll, they'll trade for a guy that's already a proven commodity because they don't. They can't scout that really. Right. Or you just wait for free agency and just pick up what's there. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But if you're sitting there, okay. you're, that's, you're, a, that's fair counter. If that's you look at the counter. linebackers of that draft, there were a bunch of them in there, and you want to compare Edmonds to those. Could be an episode. Yeah. I'm saying it's not. Right. <laughs> but I'd say you pick up one on free agency. Okay. Cheap guy. All right. So, so we've got linebacker. We've got corner. So we probably got time for two more, right? I think we can agree that they're not really going to do anything 
Hopkins. Yeah. You already drafted two replacements. And in Hamlin and Jermon Johnson. Yeah, and, and you're just, I think they're I think they're willing to be patient. With you. And I think after you draft another corner this year, you're gonna try to convert Siri Mayo to a safety. I think that makes sense. Yeah, that either safety. Sense. Yeah, I, did, I he's a hammer. Like the guy's yeah. huge. So let's. Well, then the last place to go is. I don't think you're looking at defensive end, but I do think you're looking at defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. A lot of people really have those in, in maybe the second or third rounds. Of Yep. Well, a lot of guys have contract years. A lot of guys you can get rid of and save some money. Right. Um, so I, I think Butler's time is done. I think yep. people agree with that. How high would you go then for an interior defensive line? Premium. They, Buffalo drafted Ella, Ed Oliver, you know? Yeah. So I think they see that as, again, a premium position. Although I think not on the edge of premium position. I think it's replacement, like replacement level replacement. I think you can find. Did you just lock the doors so you didn't? No, no, I rolled the windows up because it seems the outside noise is really loud. Oh, okay. And that's bitch to edit. Yeah, I get that. All right. Um, I. So do you think it's a free agent? I don't think they trade for it. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's your call. It's not mine. Zimmer's a free agent. Yep. You think they bring him back? You think he played ball enough? Probably not at replacement. He's replacement level, so he's like the Ryan Bates of the defense. How dare you? I would give him Ike Butker of the defense. Okay. All right. Ike Butker of the defense. Listen, what? you. Harry's walking into a contract year. You know, like, it's just, there's a, there's, there's Harry's, a lot. Harry is Rick Bates. That's where, that's where the line is. Okay. <laughs> that's where the line is. That's good to know. <laughs> This is the hell I'm willing to die. <laughs> I woke up and said, Rick Bates this is Harry Phillips. This shows violence. <laughs> but defensive tackle, so what do you think they're going to do? Oh, God. Defensive tackle, I think you've already played the free agent game. You've already taken old members that you know that how you want them to play your position. I think the draft is the cheapest way to go. Um, I think they're going to take one in like the third or fourth round. Yeah. I, I'm inclined to agree that they're they're going to be drafting a defensive tackle, right? Yeah. But now, past the fifth round, those defensive tackles are typically guys with injury history, durability issues, or off-the-field issues, and Buffalo typically stays away from those guys. So once you hit the fourth round, defensive tackles are just a crap Just people throwing picks at the wall. It is a crap shoot fourth round and after. And okay. Buffalo typically doesn't take those kinds of guys, which is why, well, I want to agree with you. I, I can't really agree with you okay. if it's fourth round or later. All right, 2018 Paul needs to get out of the car. And 2022 <laughs> Paul needs to get in the car. In establishing your program and your culture of the locker room and everything, I understand your point. 110%. You don't want those guys. However, we're going to see a defensive tackle taken in the fifth round, and you're going to call me up and go, did you see this guy's RAS score? <laughs> <laughs> they go for the most gifted athlete at the time on the board. And, you know, there's a reason to spend some rounds on that. Yeah, I'll be in a third rounder. Yeah. But the point was, he was the, the biggest freak athlete at the time on the sure. board. Yeah. So. Yeah, all right. All right, I'll, I will I will pause on that for the moment. Did I scroll it with you? Uh, you might have used my own argument against me. <laughs> yeah, you might have. This is a first. Yeah, you might have. You want to do the offense? Yeah, let's yeah, do the offense. We'll come back with the offense.